Hey there folks, Jet Lowe here at the Film Talk. How are you this morning? Uh, it's early in the morning, 7 o'clock, something like that here in Los Angeles. I've just woken up. As you can see, I'm a, I'm a mess. Um, one of the reasons I'm a mess is I've just woken to the sad news that one of the greats, Dino De Laurentiis, if that's how you pronounce his name, um, has left us. Uh, a producer, as I said, one of the greats, somebody that I've been reading about, hearing about, watching his movies my entire life. So I just want to mention a couple of them right now. Um, Gareth and I will do a special Dino tribute uh, this week on show 151 that will be online this weekend. But li li listen to some of these pictures that he produced. La Strada, incredible film. If you don't like, uh, if you don't like Fellini, then fuck off. You have no taste. Uh, Danger, Diabolique, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, incredible film, this uh, amazing hero, 60s style, and then you kind of realize halfway through, wait a minute, isn't the hero killing thousands of people when he's destroying government institutions? So that's a bit odd, but still uh, worth seeing. Uh, Barbarella, you get uh, Jane Fonda doing a, a slow-mo nude strip tease out of a spacesuit right there in the opening couple of minutes. You get the incredible scene with Pygar, the angel who's our hero in, in Danger Diabolique. Um, they're tr going to make love, and, and he says, you know, an angel doesn't make love, an angel is love. Uh, that's something that stuck with me my, my whole life, and that's how I kind of feel about, um, about my wife, um, actually. Uh, Bar uh, Waterloo. Uh, Waterloo, Rod Steiger's Napoleon, maybe not a great film, and uh, unfortunately, because of its poor commercial performance, uh, the, uh, the studio folks never funded uh, Stanley Kubrick's Napoleon with the possibility of Jack Nicholson as uh, Napoleon. So we kind of lost out there. Um, I don't know what Dino would say. He would probably be too busy making another movie. Uh, Serpico, terrible soundtrack. It, the, the soundtrack just ruins the damn picture for me. But, you know, you get Al Pacino with the beard. It's wonderful. Uh, Death Wish, you don't need to say anything about Death Wish. It's all there up on the screen. Uh, Three Days of the Condor, a film that doesn't age that well now, directed by Sidney Pollack, <clears throat> especially in the scene where uh, apparently our hero Robert Redford rapes Faye Dunaway, and she's okay with that because, you know, he's Robert Redford. So that's distasteful. Um, and also it's got one of the great opening credits of all time, Three Days of the Condor, based on Six Days of the Condor. So I guess you kind of figure, well, they, they had to cut out three days. You know, Dino probably wanted it shorter to be able to put more screenings on the, uh, uh, in the theater. And I appreciate so far this does not sound like a ringing endorsement, but so stay with me here. Uh, so we got uh, Three Days of uh, the Condor, King Kong. The Twin Towers may be gone, but at least we have uh, King Kong. Boy, this video is getting in... Continuing in bad taste, isn't it? Let's move on. Flash Gordon. Okay, well, that makes up for any films that aren't any good. Flash Gordon, incredible motion picture directed by, of course, Mike Hodges, who did uh, Get Carter. Color, light, action, fun. And if you're a fan of Flash Gordon, by the way, the 1980 version, check out, if you haven't seen it, the 1940 uh, Thief of Baghdad with Conrad Veidt. Veidt? Veidt? Uh, Major Strauss from Casablanca. Obviously, Thief of Baghdad, a huge influence on in many films, but especially Flash Gordon, you'd love it. Uh, what else do you do? Ragtime, Jimmy Cagney, come on. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, sure. Uh, what else we got? Dead Zone, Christopher Walken, you know, and possibly, as Gareth says, his uh, finest uh, performance. And also because of that film, we, we get the uh, Saturday Night Live sketch with Christopher Walken grabbing people's hands, which was certainly worth the production cost there. Uh, Dune, one of my personal favorites, especially the 15-hour version directed by Alan... Uh, Smithy, you're the dragon. Sure, Mickey Rourke's hair goes from gray to white to gray in different scenes, but what an incredible film. And was there anybody better than Michael Cimino directing crowds? And I would say not. And if you're a Michael Cimino hater, like, oh, Heaven's Gate, see Heaven's Gate. See the, you know, the long version if you can. It's astonishing work of brilliance. And you're the dragon has problems, but it's still far better than 95% of all films uh, made today. Blue Velvet. He gave young David uh, a chance. With Dune, didn't work out too well, maybe. But uh, he gave another chance. at Blue Velvet. Uh, along with They Live and The Terminator, one of the most important films uh, of the 80s. Manhunter, brilliant, probably the best. Uh, Hannibal Lecter, Brian Cox is by far, I would say, the best Hannibal Lecter. No offense to, uh, of course, the other actors who have played him. But Cox is Hannibal. Uh, Evil Dead 2, come on. Flying Eyeball, when I saw that, I was a kid. 
saw that at the old, uh, old theater in Berkeley, California. I literally fell out of my chair with joy when the eyeball was flying through the mouth. I, I've never seen anything like it. Beautiful. And a small crowd, maybe five or six of us in this tiny little cramped theater on Shattuck Avenue. And a joyous cinematic experience. Bedroom window. Steve Gutenberg. You know, we, we, we all is forgiven. Uh, bound, lesbian chic, yeah, it's just for the money, but you know, those guys know what they're doing. And Speed Racer, uh, terrible reviews, but there's really something going on there. I could talk about that another time. Hannibal, you know, Dino said, we don't need Jodie Foster, we've got, you know, Hopkins. And he was right, it made money. It would have been a lot more involving with Jodie, but you know what the hell, he's a producer. Uh, those are some of his films, he made more than a hundred more. Uh, Dino, we're gonna miss you. They don't, they don't make them like you very often. Here's to you, sir.